Hello everyone, my name is Beth Staniforth Seamster and I'm the Children's Ministry Coordinator at Whitewater Area Regional Ministry in Whitewater, Wisconsin. Well, I'm here with my Sunday children's message. So let's take a moment, we'll check in like we do, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna talk about. I will tell you, it's the thumbs up weekend at my house. Nice to have things be a little warmer, nice to see the sun. I wonder how you're doing. Are you having a good weekend? Are you having a hard weekend? However you're feeling, take a few minutes and check in together. It's one of the many ways we can support each other during this hard time. Well, today starts the season of Lent. I should say actually it started on Wednesday for Ash Wednesday, but this Sunday is the first Sunday in Lent. And Lent, as I said last week, if you think about the church having a calendar, much like how we do that we flip through every month, well, the church's calendar, I think of more like a circle. We went through Advent, which led up to Christmas. So we have experienced Jesus coming into the world, the light coming into the world. And now during Lent, we are reminded that, um, that Jesus lived a life that was at times very difficult. He lived a life um, of prayer and repentance and helping people to focus on God. And so for the next 40 days, we walk with Jesus on this journey that ultimately leads to the cross. So Lent can be kind of um, a, a troubling time or, or just a difficult time, a time to reflect. Well, in today's story, Jesus is baptized and he has um, this, he hears God's voice. This is my son, the beloved. With him, I am pleased. And then the story tells us that Jesus is sent out into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit. And he stays in the wilderness for 40 days with nothing but wild animals and angels ministering to him. When he finally comes back, he goes um, and stands among his people and declares the kingdom of God is now. Repent. So there's a lot going on there. In Bible study today, we talked about how um, in some Bibles it says that the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness, which is, sounds nice, right? Like, I'm going to lead you on this path. And in some Bibles, it says that the Spirit drove Jesus into the wilderness, which is kind of like he, the Spirit pushed Jesus and said, hey, go, go be in the wilderness for a while. Have you ever been anywhere where you're kind of in a wilderness? I've never really lived in the wilderness. I've gone camping and there's been animals and I've lived in a tent and for a few days, but never for 40 days. Some people really enjoy being out in the wilderness. Wilderness can take another meaning too for those of us maybe who've never lived out in the wild. Have there ever, has there ever been a time in your life that was hard? Has there ever been a time in your life where you felt like you were in the wilderness, where you had no one, where you were alone and frightened? Maybe you were sick, maybe you were scared. Maybe life changed in a way that felt so unfamiliar and overwhelming. Physically, you weren't in a wilderness, but internally, emotionally, perhaps you felt like you were in a wilderness. The last almost year has been a wilderness for most of us being isolated, being away from friends and family, having our whole world disrupted because of COVID-19. I think it's easy to say that in many ways we're living through a wilderness right now. And yet in that, when we look to the story of Jesus and his experience in the wilderness, we hear that he wasn't alone. He was surrounded by animals, wild or not. <laughs> we, it never says dangerous, so we don't know but also the angels ministered to Jesus. When I look back at times in my life that are hard, when I could say that I was living in a wilderness, a wilderness of spirit, I can point to moments and people and conversations that really were important and helpful to me. Uh, maybe it was a scripture that I read, a time of prayer that really helped me to reflect a friend who called and just said, hey, let's talk, or let's go out for lunch, or let's go for a walk. Uh, people I, I encountered once or twice, but never saw again, who made a difference. 
when I read this scripture about Jesus being in the wilderness, and I think about living in an, a time of wilderness myself, I think about the angels ministered to Jesus and how God gives us people and experiences that minister to us in that same way, that can help keep us going and remind us that out of these hard times can come really important uh, periods of personal growth. So at the start of Lent, I'm going to say, I miss you. I hope we're back together by Easter, but I don't know, last year, we weren't together for Easter, probably not this year, probably not, who knows, but I miss you. And we're walking this journey together in the wilderness and we're apart from each other, but we are connected by our love for one another and our love for God. So remember that when things are hard and you're feeling alone and you're feeling like you're in the wilderness, God sent his angels to take care of Jesus and God will send God's angels to look over you too. Blessings.